SJWs destroy a tech conference because there are only two genders. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, bringing you the obvious, and today on RT.com, SJWs versus reality. Tech conference didn't fit progressives' gender fantasy, so they destroyed it. So this is probably surprising to no one. SJWs are long known for the destructive behaviors, and it's not just them. It's the left. Every SJW is a leftist, self-proclaimed, and every leftist seems to destroy everything around them, whether they be a Democrat running a city, like Washington or California, that has homeless people problems, poop problems, they can't even clean up the roads, whether it's SJWs destroying a franchise like Ghostbusters or comic books, they destroy everything they touch that doesn't fit their cult. Now before we look into the story, monetization on my channel has been disabled. The best way to support me is to join me on Patreon or Subscribestar. You can also help by sharing videos you enjoy or think are important on social media. So let's Let's look here. Desirable SJW programmer in staged shot versus actual programmer at conference. Modern day activists show up again and they do not care one jot if they disseminate beneficial endeavors and strip well-meaning people of jobs for the sake of a cause. Today could be your tech conference, tomorrow your workplace. PHP Central Europe would have gathered hundreds of users of PHP, a popular programming language, together in Dredson in October, if not for one seemingly innocuous tweet that sowed the seed of destruction coated in a shell of positive verbiage. So here's a tweet and here's what destroyed an entire tech conference, and may I say, the the person who made this tweet was a bigot. This year's PHP CE conference seems to have gone with the white males only conference lineup. Shame. It's 2019. <laughs> Current year. We can do better, wrote Carl L. Hughes, an obscure tech industry figure and concerned citizen who had no plans to travel to Germany himself. The tweet went viral. So here's Carl L. Hughes, okay, on Twitter. This asshole's the one who destroyed the tech conference. He says, My intent was not to harm any individuals in the PHP community, including the event's organizers, but if standing up for underrepresented community members gets me some hate, I'll gladly take it. You destroyed the event, jackass. How's that for diversity? Maybe the problem isn't that they only invited white people. Maybe the problem is only the white people knew how to code PHP. <laughs> is it really so crazy? Is this such a crazy thought? Or are you just stupid, you little soy boy? It did not matter that it's unimportant if the person talking on stage about the subject of a computer language is black or a woman. Surely what matters is the value of their speech. It did not matter that no discrimination appears to have occurred. Applications to be a speaker were open to all, and people of different genders and ethnicities had spoken at past events. So it made no difference that the organizers received only one submission from a woman out of hundreds. Exactly, exactly, that's the point, you fucking left wing idiots. Idiot. It's pure idiocy. Every time I have to read about these people, it's just stupid stupidness who don't know anything about reality. They can only spout their programming because they're sheep, because they're brainwashed, because they can only go with a narrative. White people bad, diversity good, no white people, only diversity. Delusional cultists, idiots. A free and equitable society is not possible. Not every person's gonna wanna program in PHP. Stupid as fuck. Stupid, so goddamn stupid. <clears throat> it did not matter that PHP is a legacy programming language, taught mostly at a time when there were even fewer female and ethnic minority coders in a field that is already skewed, not to mention that the conference was located in part of the world that has nothing like America's racial diversity. RIP AMERICA! So there are not probably that many more women who could have applied in the best case scenario, something PHP CE could not control. One by one, speakers began to pull out, even as one, Larry Garfield, admitted that in the past he himself, as an organizer of a similar event, actively reached out to both women in the PHP community and local to the event and still sometimes had no submissions from women. Well, you know what? It's their fault too for pulling out those jackasses. Oh no, it's, it's too white, we can't do it. Do you wanna be destroyed? Do you wanna be replaced? Do you wanna have your industry broken up, huh? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Do you want to be destroyed by cultists? Because that's what you're doing by canceling this event, by pulling out, you jackass. You think, you think the people on the left are the only ones to blame? They are not. It's the morons everywhere who give in to the insanity. Rage, rage, rage against the dying of the light. 
Does no one understand this concept? This turned into a venting of public sanctimony, even though Garfield himself recently experienced shaming after being forced to pull out of another conference for his love of BDSM. <laughs> Perhaps we repay our public debt by condemning others even more loudly next time. Wow, so he was embarrassed that he got called out for his fetish, and now he's pulling out to virtue signal. Shame his father didn't pull out. The main organizer thought that fairness was not discriminating against any group and judging everyone on merit. Diversity and inclusion is okay, as long as it means the equalization of chances. If you place diversity and inclusion in a stronger position than substantive content of the agenda, you destroy the event. Deruz Grasista wrote on Twitter, as he faced his accusers from the US in lengthy exchanges. Equal chances mean to not disturb in the natural process. Favoritism one people group against another is acting in compliance with the divide et imperia principle. This is politics and we are very far from entering politics into the event organization. But to PHPC critics, this showed that he simply still did not get it. Grisista, Grisista said that after the brohaha ticket sales dropped, this week organizers published a notice saying that the event in Dresden was canceled, citing the tweets and articles as the reason. They say there will be no PHPCE conference next year or ever again. It was canceled forever, forever, because of some jackass man named Carl L. Hughes. What an asshole. Look at here, look at this tweet. This is his original tweet, and it didn't even get that many likes or retweets, but it was enough to destroy the entire event. Look what Lispil's Zudge says. As a black man, I have to say that this is the most racist thing I saw in a long time. So even this diverse man, this minority, believes that Carl L. Hughes was being discriminatory towards white people. You're in the wrong. Even minorities think you're wrong. You're sick. You're sick people. You're sick in the head. One might have expected those who provoked the exposure to express at least some regret over what appears to be a lose-lose scenario for everyone. Instead, many on Twitter took to gloat about customers voting with their wallets because surely a new conference next year will be able to magic up some black female Hungarian PHP developers. So really, this is just delayed triumph for justice. Well, it's canceled forever. Congratulations, SJWs. You destroyed something else. You're just Disgusting. You people shouldn't be allowed to have opinions, much less destroy any events. You know, I say that hyperbolically. Of course you can have opinions. I just think that everyone's going to laugh at you in, you know, mainstream society. Because what you're saying is absolutely ridiculous. Spear of Destiny says, These SJWs are responsible for the demise of the sensible left. No such thing, buddy. The ones that use to stand for working class issues, economic problems, etc. They are the blight of domestic Western politics. Now, I disagree. The left has never been sensible. It's always led to destruction. I've seen this throughout history. I see this throughout every culture. Every left-wing country that embraces left-wing ideals crumbles. Why is this? I believe it's because leftism is founded on weakness. I believe this to be true. I believe this to be evident, especially when you consider left-wing ideals. Equality, handouts, idealism. You see, left-wing ideology is all about the process over the results. A left-winger would destroy the world if it meant doing the right thing. I stand with those who aim for the right result, who get the good results, even if the process isn't ideal, because I'm not a dumbass. I don't even think I'm smart. I just think that I'm not dumb. Volkim says, there is no left anymore, or rather old school socialist or Marxist. There is no right anymore. No nativist movements in the West. None in favor of tradition or local culture. Nobody at all in the ruling class and the oligarchs looking out for the native working class. Now I disagree. I think there's a growing right wing. People in favor of result-based policy, stuff that works, uh, libertarian principles, free markets, and a more sensible government. No handouts, no weakness. No more. Oh no, a girl is crying. Burn the constitution. Don't deport the undocumented. No. How about yes? How about we enforce the law? Or do leftists not believe in the law? Or do they only believe in it when it suits them? That's the question there. Jeffrey P. Harrison says, Typical. The ladies and non-white persons are just as capable as white males of doing something should they choose to do so. If they aren't presenting at the conference, plausibly, they don't want to. Does dad says, Soon doctors will have to check on women's prostates just to avoid being accused of discrimination. <laughs> so I think this is the perfect comment to leave this story off on. Try Fid says, in reality, the conference was canceled not because of an unhinged Twitter remark, but because conference speakers pulled out. Did the speakers do so because they agreed with the SJW or because they are cowards and always submit to bullies? Either way, they're in the wrong. And so is a man, Carl L. Hughes. You're a sick person. Screw you. Um, screw everyone who pulled out. This conference is destroyed forever.
Never ever bow to the SJWs. They are trash. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this terrible story? What do you think about the tech conference? Who is in the wrong? Be sure to let me know. Just a reminder, you can join me on Patreon or Subscribestar for as low as $1. There are different tiers. You can choose whatever you wish. Doing so will give you access to Fight Club, a private Discord server. There's also PayPal and Bitcoin options. Sharing the video on social media always helps because websites are deranking all of our content. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.